Hey guys, this is Journeyable, welcome to Journeyverse. So I'm starting a little series of uh, Vox MLC uh, tutorials and uh, I will be starting uh, to uh, explain you the basics of what I think the most powerful tool which is the, the smallest voxel tool it is the most powerful, the fastest and the most efficient and it has something that no other tool has it has a uh, potential of uh, making some accidents and some of those accidents uh, can be happy accidents and happy accidents uh, creating shapes that you never thought about and they are very difficult to uh, very difficult to make in other ways or uh, probably impossible so I personally uh, think this uh, small voxel tool is where every, uh, everyone desiring to uh, make progress uh, into voxel should uh, should start. Uh, so to start and today I will be uh, just introducing you the, the basics and to start you will you will you will need uh, a checkerboard a big color checkerboard like so mine is black and white yours can be any color red and blue and uh, first first things first uh, once you have uh, uh, pull up your tool the small voxel tool uh, you can notice use uh, holding control and the uh, mouse uh, scroll can adjust the size, it will adjust the size of uh, the area of effect uh, on the surface. And the main and the most important uh, detail is the alternative tool, uh, which has the smooth voxel tool, which is the uh, pinch tool by pressing Alt. So if I do smooth voxel tool without pressing Alt, on this checkerboard nothing will move because all the vertices already at very uh, average in the line position but if I pitch and pinch then by pressing alt and I click wherever you will see that they will tend to uh, be, that they will be pulled the vertices uh, will be pulled uh, toward the center of uh, your aiming position so the checker is a very Good way to um, check on on the mesh that is created on the vertices of every voxels. So first things you want to know is uh, the size is important. Uh, whatever size you're using will not have the same effect in the same, in the same area, so it will not create the same pattern. And also the position. The position uh, need to be uh, precise enough, and there are actually three uh, three position important position when you're using this pinch tool. Uh, the first one will be uh, like so, in the middle of four voxels. Hearing that, second one in the middle of one voxel. Hearing that. And the last one will be in the middle of two voxels. So here you have those three different uh, important position you have to uh, remember all the time. You can try to do a corner, but uh, like so, but you will have very um, creepy uh, shapes and pattern, very difficult to control. So uh, just remember these three positions are very important. Then from this, uh, that you know, every time you click again, uh, for example here I was in the center of four voxels, so I can notice that the, the four voxels surrounding uh, my click point have reduced, and every time I click, they will reduce again, again, again until they will be like pretty microscopic
no, sorry, a mistake, I did this most all. So don't forget to press Alt. And here again it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller, but well, let's keep it this size. And smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. So from this we are creating macro voxels, so voxels that are bigger than the normal size. And if we want to extract them, it's very easy. Just copy, no, just copy the, the voxels that got straight shit. But you will see that it's, it's, it's back face. It's back face is still the same. Because the other side of the checkerboard didn't move. But it's very easy to extract it. You just have to copy it in front of himself. And the dominance makes that the new uh, the new pasted voxel will take the shape of the, the one uh, it is passed it on. So here for example I have a micro voxel so the size uh, is bigger than the normal size and here for example I have a micro voxel I passed it in front of itself and I got a little tiny micro voxel bar. So this is useful if you want to make, uh, if you want to make, I don't know, um, handrails or stuff like that. So you can use this type of voxels. If you want to, uh, if you want to link it to the floor, for example. Uh, if I just uh, passed it. On the floor like that, it will it will uh, it will lose its uh, it will lose its uh, shape at the at the base because uh, it's taking uh, the the floor is dominant. But if you want to exchange the dominance, you just press shift, and the floor himself will change its change its uh, its shape. To match, to match the the new passive voxel. So holding shift, make the new voxel dominant, and you can see the floor um, uh, as straight out, as stretch it out in order to. Uh, so this is a very very fast and simple way uh, to make micro voxels. Uh, there are hundreds of possibilities because um, you can play with the size and those three different positions. So here is a little example. I try to cover it for every size, every positions, and I did I did I did copy my patterns uh, up and down. For example, here is a, here is one pattern that I copied down. And, I, and then I, every time I click, uh, I, I save, and then I copy on the side of each other. So I'm getting uh, the different uh, different phase of uh, of the of the, the pinching tool, and uh, it looks great. It looks uh, it looks really great. Uh, since uh, simple stuff like that, you can already start making uh, floors and. Uh, ceilings, I don't know, patterns, you use different type of, different shade of uh, grey, of wood, of uh, whatever, you don't need it to be black and white, uh, you already have a uh, uh, good, good beginning into uh, boxing and see. So, um, I think this is how uh, everyone should start to practice how to use the pinch tool. You don't necessarily need to uh, first try to extract the shape and do something else. Because this I will start to cover uh, this topic on the next videos, and uh, you will you will understand how powerful and how easy it is to create uh, crazy shapes and uh, very good looking voxels just using those patterns. So in the next video, uh, just to give you an example, 
I am about to show you how to make this this truss uh, structure, which is extremely simple. You can once you have understood how this works, uh, you can do this in less uh, in less than five minutes, or oh, clearly in less than five minutes. So I will make uh, that will be the topic of my next video, and uh, hope you enjoy, guys, and uh, see you later.